Number 15. You may remember this story from one of my previous videos, where Steve Ronan and his group of friends found a lost girl in a deep underground cave. One of the people with him was fellow YouTuber Exploring with Josh, and we can analyze his footage of the event for more clarity on what happened. The group stumbled upon this scared girl while exploring the cave, and they reunite her with her parents. What remains unclear is how this girl managed to wander so deep into the cave with no flashlight or supplies. We were so curious to know what was <laughs> through this tunnel. This is crazy. It's okay. It's all right. This is the way back. Numerous news agencies have now covered the story, with none being able to offer an explanation. Nevertheless, she was clearly lost, and if it wasn't for these YouTubers saving the day, she may have never made it out of that cave. Number 14. Two friends named Bobby and Hayes are hanging out in the living room when this bear enters the house at 12.30 at night and comes straight at them. They both run away and call for help, while the bear instinctively heads to the kitchen. I guarantee you won't guess what it does next. With the humans locked away from sight, the wild animal follows its nose and somehow figures out how to get into the fridge. It opens the door with one smooth motion that makes me wonder how many other refrigerators it has raided before. Its meal of choice is also unexpected, a huge hunk of spicy taco meat. The taco dinner was interrupted after a wildlife ranger kicks open the door with absolutely no fear and hesitation and shoes it from the home. From the looks of it, at one point they stand only about 10 to 15 feet away. Number 13. The news is pretty boring until something totally unexpected like this happens, and you'll never guess what it is. Two anchors are having a chat when their background gets bizarre. Ordinarily, I would say this is two different shots edited together. However, the crowd seems to stay the same as the man disappears. At four seconds, you can see the individual is crossing from left to right. They come out from the column soon after the man disappears, which indicates this was all one continuous take. Number 12. This video was supposedly taken by a robotic camera while surveying an old oil tanker. A school of fish briefly swims in front of the camera, and suddenly one of the fish gets nailed by a spear in front of the camera. Something fast swims by to collect the fish shortly after. Many people believe that this video demonstrates the possibility of some kind of advanced sea creature who uses tools to hunt. After all, there's no reason for a person to be this far underwater hunting with a spear, and whatever moves in front of the camera is too fast to be a person. Of course, the obvious answer is CGI, but I would love to get your thoughts. This video, taken over 3,700 feet underwater, begins with a mysterious symbol gliding across the bottom of the ocean floor. This is obviously strange enough, but things get even weirder after it suddenly transforms. It's some sort of shape-shifting blob with shimmering lights on its head, and apparently it's coming in for a closer look. Whatever the thing is, it seems to be quite curious as it studies the camera for a bit, its lights blinking away all the while. Someone in the comments section says that this is a tenophore, though others insist that it's clearly the wrong color along with other discrepancies. Number 11. Eight different states across America, from Oregon to New York, have experienced loud booming noises with no detectable origin. All of them cause total panic and sound something like this. <laughs> Nobody knows what is causing them, but they do appear to give off some kind of strange energy. A doorbell cam in a quiet Rhode Island neighborhood manages to pick up one of the booms, but it's not clear what is going on. Watch this part and let me know if you can tell what caused this. I was thinking it was a blown generator, but it's not. 
According to the homeowner, no workers came out to fix anything. Also, the exact same thing happened in another Rhode Island town on the same day. The locations are seemingly random and experts are completely baffled by all of the video evidence so far. Number 10. Like it was intentionally set up to capture something that has been appearing in a closet lately. At first, you can't really see anything, but after a while, the shadows begin to form into a human-like figure. The shadowy shape peeks out from behind the door and at one point even appears to have two bright white eyes. The grainy quality of this video is a strong indication that it was edited. But then again, this may be a very old cell phone video or perhaps a very early internet video that needed to be heavily compressed before uploading. This unexplained shadow was uploaded by a paranormal ghost hunter named K. Owen. I think it could just be a fast-moving insect, especially since this was recorded on a summer night in the South. But according to K, this is the spirit of a poltergeist in Kentucky who eventually went on to become quite destructive. If K's story is to be believed, then this unexplained shadow is the spirit of a person who took a woman's life in this camper years ago. The deranged paranormal entity would eventually go on to destroy the camper by burning it down just two weeks into the paranormal investigation. Number 9. Bob Osborne flies down a bumpy mountainous road in Bolivia with little concern for his health or safety. The seven-minute downhill race is filled with large rocks like this one. He navigates the obstacle just in time. Look how slow this van is driving. That's the appropriate speed for such a treacherous road, yet it's quickly passed. Keep in mind this vehicle could easily kick a rock straight into their dirt bike at any time and send them careening to their doom. They eventually make it to the bottom of the mountain still in one piece. I just hope Bob Osborne performs regular maintenance on his bike because this looks like the type of road that could snap a tire clean off at any time. Number 8. This video comes from Wolfie's second channel called More Wolfie. After enjoying a full day of vacation fun, Wolfie returns to his rented house to find a small mysterious door that's begging for further investigation. He cautiously knocks first and then unlatches the lock. Oh my god. Yo. Inside is a deep cavernous tunnel leading further underground. Wolfie stands at the mouth of the entrance and contemplates going inside for a long time. It's haunted. Should it's I haunted. go in? It's haunted. Is it? I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. What do you mean go in? All of them get a bad feeling at once, but Wolfie shrugs off his fears and bravely crawls face first into the hole. He doesn't make it very far before the urgent need to turn around becomes even more intense than before. Okay, that's it, that's it. Not anymore. I'm closing it. I'm closing it. We're done, guys. This is freaky. I still don't know if they were psyching themselves out or if they really did sense a dangerous presence down there. According to them, this tunnel apparently extended way deeper than the average crawl space, so maybe something really was waiting for them at the other end. Number 7. A YouTuber named Jude the Cool Dude is making a video tour of his house when he discovers something new on the third floor. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, is that a door? Concealed behind a hidden wall panel is a cramped room with extremely small furniture, including a tiny table with a single candle for light. Terror spreads across Jude as it dawns upon him that he could very well be standing in the hiding spot of an intruder who has been living here for some time. It even looks like whoever inhabited this place may have rerouted the wiring to divert power to this part of the house. It's almost impossible to tell if this video was staged or legitimate, but with all of the stories I've read about people living in houses for years without being discovered, I really wouldn't be surprised if this was real. Either way, Jude decides to quietly close the trap door and never mention this find again. A YouTuber named Sunny Cooper has recorded a shadow moving back and forth that looks out of place. Maybe together we can figure out what this strange shadow belongs to. It starts out going one direction, then it comes back the other way.
It almost looks like a rat or a small animal of some sort, but that still doesn't explain how it appears to instantly teleport across a large gap twice. I guess this could just be some sort of time-lapse editing, but something about the way the shadow moves looks like it was recorded in real time. Let me know if you have any explanation for what's happening here. Number 6 this gray fish is frozen solid and obviously not moving at all. Yet within 20 seconds of being put in this liquid solution, something bizarre happens. I'm pretty sure this is nothing more than warm water. But maybe there is some sort of chemical in it that can bring frozen animals back to life. Then again, maybe this fish just hibernates for the winter and comes back to life naturally when the temperature warms. Let me know what you think is going on here. And if you think what you've seen is a miracle like the uploader of this video claims. I'm not sure where this video was taken, but it looks like an open air seafood market. A giant fish on the end is bigger than any of the others and has been attracting onlookers all day. If this person had simply purchased it or moved on like everyone else, then this video would never need to be analyzed by me. Instead, they tap it twice with the corner of their smartphone, like it's the tire of a used car. The second tap is close to the eye, which I think triggers a nervous system response. It was completely motionless before and its gills were not moving, so I don't think it was truly alive. Still, they should have kept their hands off the merchandise. I wonder if the store owners made them pay. Anyway, here it looks like the fish actually manages to get the phone into its without a doubt slimy mouth, so they should probably just give up and get a new phone along with a new dinner. Number 5. This video was reportedly taken by a Navy patrol boat off the coast of Chile in South America. What appears to be a gigantic, slow-moving UFO is soon confirmed by both the Navy and a nearby air traffic control tower to not be one of their own. I was thinking maybe this was an ordinary blimp or a helicopter until it emits some kind of inky mystery substance at the 8 minute 18 second mark. The camera cuts away for a bit and then approximately 5 seconds later you can see the substance has solidified into a thick, clumpy mass. As if that isn't weird enough, the UFO then detaches itself from the mass, which hangs completely suspended in mid-air and keeps on going until it's no longer in sight. I have certainly never seen an aircraft do that before and it doesn't look normal at all. If this is not edited, then I have little doubt that this visitor is from another planet entirely. In 2013, a camera on a weather tower detected something very abnormal hovering over Lincoln, which is the capital of Nebraska. Look in the bottom right-hand corner to see it. Just before 6 a.m. on September 4th, KLKN's HD Tower Cam 8 gave chance. The station's local meteorologist had no explanation for the UFO. He went on to say that he does not believe it was a weather-related incident and therefore is unqualified to comment on what it could be. A Lincoln resident caught this flashing object on tape the same morning and sent it into the news network. By the time the sun came up, the UFO was gone without a trace. A Channel 8 viewer captured similar footage. It's an unidentified object. Number 4. A YouTuber named S.E. Styles is camping in the woods of Hinton, Canada when he hears the last thing that anyone wants to hear just outside of their tent. A lone wolf's howl pierces through their conversation and renders both S.E. Styles and his friends silent as night sets in. They soon realize they are vastly outnumbered. If anyone watching this happens to be an animal wildlife expert, I'd like to know if these wolves were howling because they were aware of the human presence nearby, or if this was for some other reason. Perhaps this was a warning to S.E. Styles not to come any closer, although I'm sure he and his friend did not need any extra convincing. Number 3. A YouTuber called Survival Life tracks a gigantic snake across his local soccer field. I'm guessing that he must have been using a selfie stick to get this up close, but then again, 
It wouldn't surprise me if his hands and fingers were only inches away when this happened. Eventually, survival life backs off and leaves the snake alone. And I'm curious as to what kind of snake this was. I can tell by the tropical tree line that this video was taken somewhere near a jungle. In which case, this snake could definitely be poisonous. Some of Survival Life's fans are saying that this was a cobra, and I just wanted to confirm what type of cobra this was. That way, we would know if Survival Life was risking a hospital trip or even his life here. Winter time should be relatively snake free, yet here one is slithering across the ice in the middle of February. The cold blooded reptile somehow crosses the frozen pond and then moves towards the camera with slow determination. I'm not sure what type of snake this is or how it's able to survive these low temperatures. My guess is it was probably hibernating somewhere and got disturbed, but either way, a snake of this size is nothing to mess with no matter what the season. This video was taken somewhere on Kent Island in Maryland. If there are any more winter snake sightings in this area, then I'd say something strange is definitely going on over there. Number 2. Sean Baker noticed this strange thing living in his backyard not too long ago, and now the situation has become too large for him to ignore any longer. Started out as a little white, regular mushroom, and now it's grown into something demonic. Whatever it is, one thing is for sure. The strange looking mass is able to withstand a lot of punishment. Dead. It's like it's bleeding. It oozes some sort of weird sludge in response to his attacks that I really hope is not toxic. Even with the help of a 2x4, Sean Baker is ultimately unable to bust the thing open or pry it loose from the earth. He curses the seemingly permanent growth in his backyard and ends the video in disgust. This almost certainly has to be some sort of rare fungus in my opinion, though I'm not sure what kind. But then again, maybe it really is from somewhere far away like Sean Baker seems to believe, perhaps even space. I'm hoping that together we can identify exactly what this thing is, and more importantly how to get rid of it. The size of this f***ing thing. We found him outside, he was frozen. A YouTuber named Ben Northern is walking up his driveway. When something on the ground stops him, he stares in puzzled disbelief and then realizes it's a giant arachnid sticking out of the snow. The glass jar could be making the spider look bigger than it really is, but here you can see it's almost the size of a finger. If someone is able to identify this spider, we can figure out how much of a threat it really is. Also, maybe it's just me, but it kind of looks like the spider moves a couple of times here. Perhaps it's just warming up and reawakening. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because we upload a new scary video every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. This perplexing UFO sighting was taken during a Fox News broadcast on the same day as President Obama's inauguration. Keep it here as our special coverage of Inauguration Weekend continues. Two glowing lights appear to be to the right of the Washington Monument, followed by a pale orb-like UFO. The UFO almost looks transparent and metallic as it comes into sight for only a moment and then fades away. Some people are saying that this is a camera malfunction involving the two red lights on the monument itself. I would definitely like to hear more about this possible malfunction if someone could explain it to me. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!